Hey everybody, it's Paul Colligan. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I edited 3D video um, using nothing but YouTube and a Sony bloggy. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Yes, my account is one of those ones enabled for uploads longer than 15 minutes, but you can do the same um, with the regular YouTube account. Now, I took a bunch of footage, and so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna grab the folder that contains all that footage, and you can see there's a whole bunch of them. And I'm just going to take them all, and I'm going to drag them and drop them right here, because to do these one at a time would be just painful. I'm going to do that, and then you can see the uploading process starts. Now, I don't want the world to see these yet, so I'm just going to go quickly and go through and click Unlisted. Unlisted. Now, this is kind of boring to watch, but it's just kind of the, uh, the name of the game. Unlisted. Unlisted. You know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, stop the video and um, not make you watch the rest of that. Okay, um, I'm done here. I've gone through all of them. We're down to number 59. Notice they're all unlisted and I've clicked save changes on all of them. So if we scroll back up here, you can still see we've got a great deal of uploading to do. Um, some point here we should get to where we're at. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There we go. You can see it's starting to upload the stuff and uh, it will be available soon. So let's wait for it to finish uploading and I won't make you wait for that part either. So let's stop the film. Okay, we are done. We are at one of the random files I uploaded, MA30059. Um, as you can see here, when I click the play button on YouTube, it just, it has the uh, stereo image, you know, here and here. Um, you can see it's um, all the different settings are there. It's not all the way done um, uploading. Let's hit a refresh here, or not done processing. When you hit the refresh, You'll see now it's recognizing it as 3D. You can see that here um, from the 3D image, which it does automatically. And you can see um, it goes all the way up to the 1080p. So now we have um, automatically YouTube took the video from the bloggy and uh, put it in 3D, uh, 1080p 3D nonetheless. Now, if I want to watch it without, let's turn down the volume here a little bit. If I want to watch this without the 3D, I could. So they go to 3D, turn off the 3D. And then you can see it will go away and we'll have normal video. And then we can watch from there. And again, we can even go as far as to watch in 1080p. Give that a second to load up and process. Know that we're recording this at the same time here. And there is some straight 1080p video footage. You know, pretty good video. I'm a little bit cranky here just because the machine's recording all this, but but that's how that works. So, you know, I've uploaded all this video, and what has happened is is YouTube has recognized it as being um, 3D video. So if we go to my videos, you can see now I've got all these videos, and uh, that was the one that we just took a look at. Um, two two views. All the rest of these are just in there, and uh, just random. You know, as set up. Great thing is, is if we look at any of them. As you can see here, um, again, unlisted, so nobody else is gonna take a look at this. You know, it's in the 3D, and we can even go as far up as 1080p. So, I've uploaded all the video. Um, that's that step. Let's hit the next step. So, here we are at youtube.com forward slash editor. This is a web-based system, works on both Mac and PC. You just need to have yourself a decent browser. As you can see, all the videos that I uploaded are in there. What we're gonna do is gonna take this, these first three videos, we're just gonna drag them down here. And uh, that's sort of the, the intro, if you will, to the video. Now, you can get a bit of a preview over here if you'd like. And you can see this is us walking down to the Balloon Festival. And uh, a couple of clips of that. Um, you know, and I look at that and I realize, you know, maybe I don't need both of those. And then there's this setup shot here that um, maybe doesn't need to be as long. Kind of sets up the festival. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, that one. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then um, this one I'm going to trim, so click the scissor button here, and we're going to move this to about here. That's about right. Then we'll click save. Now you can see it's been tripped down to the seven second clip. So now I have, um, you know, building my clip together. Now realize we're working in the 2D um, um, effects, so it'll show the left and right. Um, I'll show you how to set that as 3D a little bit later. But, you know, basically, then you just bring in the clips that you want to see, you know, in the order that you want to see them in. And um, if you want to bring one out of order, you know, you can bring one between the two. 
that type of thing, uh, it starts to work quite nicely. So again, we can see how our project goes. You know, we've seen up to this part, so let's see here with them setting it up. And, uh, you know, they're going up. And uh, we'll see these other balloons in a second. Kind of fun. There we go. So, you know, that's how we line up the whole video. Now I'm not going to run this entire thing um, while I do all of this. So let me line up the video that I'm going to show you guys, and then we'll be right back. So I've put together my 16 clips here. Why 16? Well, that's currently what YouTube limits you to. Now, you can put music here, but unfortunately, when you add music from the YouTube swap library, it um, you don't get to pick how long it is, and there's nothing weirder than having your video end abruptly music-wise. So um, I'm going to show you a little trick how to go to that. We're going to go to the project, and we're going to call it Tigered Balloon Festival 2011 in 3D. And that's really what it was. So we're going to put publish. And now it's going to go through the publishing process. Now, this is going to take a while. I mean, you know how these things go. So um, I'm going to stop the video now. And once this thing is processed and ready, I'll show you what we're doing about the music. Okay, the video has been uploaded. I went into edit video detail, gave it the title here, gave it the description, category, tags, etc. Um, I even set it up for 3D video using this uh, process. I already did it, so I can't really show that to you. Uh, that's just the way that is. Now, we're going to go into audio swap here. This is the interesting part. So we take an audio swap, and what it does now is it gives you the ability to find uh, tracks of similar length to your video and um, any style that you want. Um, I think something like this should have, you know, maybe a jazz or a country folk kind of thing. So I'm going to pick this and, um, you know, what sounds good? Air mailed, uh, maybe, or... And the angels sing, heading up, or uh, Apple Tune. Uh, you know, I you know you, you can get a basic idea of what you want. You can obviously go back and do this. Um, that's what Barbarella is. And uh, let's preview with the selected track. Yeah, that's uh, actually I kind of like that. Uh, that that works. And. Uh, Turn that down. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to publish. Uh, do you sure you want to change your audio track? Couple minutes to complete. Click OK. Now, the great thing about this is I can go back at any time and uh, take a look at it. And um, I can change it anytime if I want to. So, not a big deal there. But there we go. That's how I did it. Um, you can do the exact same thing. Uh, the Bloggy is a great camera. I really appreciated Sony letting me use it. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. It's amazing that YouTube has all these tools to make something like this possible. So if you've got any questions or whatnot, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And we will go from there. So thank you much. Enjoy the video. Have a good one. Bye.